All right, guys, welcome to our first actual in-season game um, of the Hilliard Cybercats League of Legends team in this fall of 2020. Uh, we are using the Play Versus, not Play VS, uh, Play Versus um, tournament platform platform yeah we're not esports ohio but we might hop into that in the spring uh i am meister pants aka mrs sturman one of the esports advisors and coaches for league i am here joined by my husband peter sturman wilson aka Arya deva and we are very excited for this new season this new platform see how it goes with our first match so. also shout out to our observer uh, Caleb Crowley, a uh, Hilliard alum. AKA Egg and Toast. AKA Egg and Toast. All right, so we have some picks and bans. Now, maybe give us a brief update for those who have just been watching Worlds and maybe aren't in this current patch of playing things. What's strong? You know, how much of this is targeted towards the players because they can do their homework and research? How much sure. of it? So, meta? right now, we are definitely not seeing the meta because <laughs> we have a Sejuani and a Lilia locked in on the same team. So, that is likely going to be a Lilia top lane. That is something that is relatively off meta that she can do. But we also have a Darius on that team. So, I'm a bit confused. Um, <laughs> we shall see how that actually shapes out. But it may be some kind of strategy that they work on. A lot of niche strategies can work very well as long as the team is coordinated with it. So, we'll see what happens there. And we do have. Bubble Puppies Fiora coming out. I know that's mm -hmm. something he's worked on a lot lately, so that's going to be going in the top lane. Uh, Gr Groovin Peruvian's Chogas, something that he was talking about using in the jungle, and I'm guessing that's going to be the Pike support going to an actual bird. So, um, And he fans... likes Pike support because if he gets the kills, he can share them, and he's exactly. supposed to. Yeah, yeah, so... he likes getting kills on any support. Phoenix so... cannot I cannot be tilted if that he happens. You can't complain <laughs> about the support killing uh, the ADC or the support in that bottom lane as long as he gets him with that ultimate on Pike. So, um, looks like they actually timed out that last ban, yeah. couldn't decide what to do. So. Or they were trying to get into their heads. Exactly. They're like, we don't even need this ban against you. We got this on lock. But we will see what happens as they continue on here. We have the Kaisa and the Ezreal. So, uh, targeting mm -hmm. that ADC pool and uh, mm -hmm. continuing on with the support pool that has yet to be picked. Or maybe it's a Lily support. Who knows? And I do respect that our opponent, um, and I forget their name, but we can look that up, our opponent that we are happy to be playing against that they did the Swain ban. Um, that's some respect. Swain is just brutal in the bot lane. We were playing against DuPont Manual High School uh, White. All right. So uh, we're happy to play against you guys, and best of luck to all players. And just a shout out, too, to Hilliard Esports and the support from the district and to all you guys listening. We appreciate it. Absolutely. And as we continue here, we do have the Senna coming through. So that uh, could be ADC or support, we don't know yet. And the uh, Aphelio, something that I know Phoenix was very happy to see buffed. And we have that Vagar going into the middle lane for Asp Noob. Which is a really, I mean, he can be a commanding character with those cages. He can kind of position you, and uh, Asp Noob is good at utilizing that, especially in laning phase. So. Absolutely. And it does look like we are actually... In Senna ADC. order, and going to have a Lilia mid, a Senna ADC, a Nautilus support, and the Darius in the top lane, that... the Sejuani in the jungle. So, have I ever seen a Lilia? Uh, I have seen it. I have not seen it done to great success, but this player may have a trick up the sleeve, you know? Um, yeah. Just because it is not meta does not mean it's not good. You Could be meta for to, them. Exactly. You just have to know what it, the champion does and utilize its strength in that role. So, Being your own meta. That's true meta. Okay. Be the meta you want to see in the world, right? All right, so um, again, as we see these team compositions shape up, what are we looking for? We are looking for um, a lot of careful consideration of vision around the mm -hmm, engaged mm -hmm. territory, right? Because you have the Lilia mm -hmm. who can throw out those bowling balls as the swirl seeds are so lovingly called by the casters on the LCS. Um, and uh, she can sleep them from long range. So if they control the vision around those objectives, they have the Lilia, they have the Sejuani, and they even have the Senna, Senna and the Nautilus yeah, that can Nautilus. be coming out of the fog of war. So something that the the blue team is going to need to consider very carefully, uh, setting up for those objectives early enough to not have to be face checking. You do have decent tools for the face check. The Chogath mm -hmm. is a tanky boy, but um, still, it's something you you want to be careful around. Um, we'll also see if the Vagar goes for the um, build that goes with Glacial Augment. That can be good for controlling vision because he can send out those spooky ghosts to scout into the fog of war. But Now, I like this Pike versus Nautilus because it's both like 
underwater guys who like to throw things. They do. They like to throw out those hooks and like to kill the enemy ADC. They are brethren in their goals, I guess. So yeah, and so. in their environment. Um, so we will we'll see how that goes. You know, with the Aphelios buffs coming through, um, we do uh, note that his win rate has increased a little bit. You know, he is still a little bit weaker than he was in the pre-nerf states, but um, he is definitely a viable champion, and I know Phoenix really, really enjoys him. Yeah. He's quite good at him, especially when he gets that lead. So uh, they'll be looking to accelerate that on the bottom side of the map. And we have that nice skill matchup up in the top lane, the Fiora versus the Darius, mm -hmm. something that if the Darius gets, gets rolling ahead. early, early, uh, uh, it's really hard for him to be able to uh, be stopped. You know, he can just kind of run at the Fiora over and over again. But if Fiora can survive that early game, or if she can even get a lead, great then split push she gets unstoppable great... split push pressure, where yeah, she can just pressure. kill him over and over again. So uh, predicting the E with her W, that's really the name of the game in that matchup. Yeah, this will be an interesting uh, game because even though our squad has played a couple scrims and like preseason games and a little bit of clash with some members, they haven't played a ton yet as a five man. Yep. So um, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of work that out, um, work out the shot calls and the commitments and things like that. Because, you know, a lot of times if you are doing well, if you don't commit to the stuff, it can kind of affect that and throw lead. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to see that from them and that commitment. Yep, seeing the commitment. And even when we played the preseason game last week, I know that we uh, saw an improvement from game to game where in that best of two, they got more cohesive in game two. So something to look out for as we move through. Maybe they'll warm up a bit and get those shots. That is good. All right, let's see. We might have a little bit of an issue here. Maybe not. Oh, I think we're good. All right. So, um, had just a momentary stream drop there. It happens. So, um, we pick it back up and yep. we go with it. And got that exhaust ghost in the top lane from the Darius, something that you don't often see but can be really threatening. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you put that exhaust down. We have a advantage. All right, now we are actually loading onto the wrist. There are the players coming down onto Summoner's Rift. Welcome, welcome. All right. Let's see what they do for this level one. Hilliard Cybercats are blue side against the white Dupont. Senna pinging to the Rift Herald does indeed spawn in eight. You'll points. notice the good luck have fun coming out from both oh, teams. Good it. job, guys. Proud of you. And that is truly what it's about. It is about having fun and working together and bettering ourselves. And the world, Peter. Okay, we have a a little three point coming down on the bottom side of the map, and a cheeky invade up on the top side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just maybe floating around to see if anyone was rushing up there for a quick pick. But right see now, see if they drop just... some vision up there on their way out to get any information for early lane phase. Yeah, we got pings coming down, showing that they think they know where they're going to be starting. And they do look to be correct. The blue team is Ooh. scouting out that start. And a nice board coming down. Yeah. Maybe going back for that sweeper now from the yeah. Sejuani. Darius is hanging back by that one tower. He already respecting that Fiora. And they did drop that ward. And now they see Lilia there, too, yep. prancing around. Yep, a ward in both pixel brushes. Ooh, and, and they drop it, too. Looks I'm liking like, all this vision. Looks like Sejuani might get back <sighs> a little bit late to her camp. She was a little late on that recall. That few second delay won't mean too much, but depending on the tempo, we could see slight differentiation in the game pattern. All right, and now just doing the leaning... Early laning phase dance, getting that CS. Yeah, interesting to see what this Lilia will be able to do since you don't often see it in the middle lane. And Ooh, wow, and Fiora! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Styling on it, Bubble Puppy, with the first blood on the Darius. And yeah. like Peter had said, you don't want Darius snowballing. Um, that feels bad, but for us cybercats in an unbiased way i say that feels good you know you don't want the darius snowballing but what you don't want even more than that is the late game scaling champion snowballing on the earlier game champion so we'll have to see 
Darius play a little more cautiously in the future, so it doesn't have control. Really, really nice hook there, a return hook, but definitely the trade goes in the way of the Cybercats, getting that damage down onto the Senna. Um, really, really nicely done, guys, and also pushing then that. Ooh, close, close. Okay, okay, that was a little spicy there, actual word going in with that, but that's okay. Coming back out and showing them this is our lane. Now warding up to make sure the jungle doesn't come with that flash. You no, know, that's damage. completely worth though, because if that stun hits, that Senna's probably dead. And true. if it doesn't hit and she has to flash it, you burnt the support flash for the ADC, and that's an that's immobile true. ADC, so that's a win. That's true. And uh, definitely, like you were saying, the health advantage there in that entire trade going the way of the cyber cats, the long range from the Athelia is difficult to deal with. And that Senna's health bar dipping even a little bit more from that poke. So. See just uh, the jungles continuing to clear and Bubble Puppy moving in for vision of what yeah, she's she, doing. Yeah, she feels safe doing that knowing that she already has this lead on the Darius. And Senna is wow chunked out still even more so. And you see this Nautilus is afraid to even walk up and get um, his, his uh, procs on the um, relic. The relic shield, yeah. So, you know, they're really- Oh! That was nice. A nice, nice, nice hook from the pike. Um, they're wondering, can we go after this? Nautilus trying to bring him under turret, rooting him down, that's well done, but also getting rooted himself. And again, he's afraid to crack that relic and afraid of this. We have some jungle action, jungle v jungle. Room, room, you're so close, oh my gosh, and gone! Alright, and we might be having some commentary issues. We're gonna be checking back and through. You might not be hearing us, or you might. So, we will stay tuned. Um... Or if you can't hear me right now, then it, then you can't hear me. That's okay. All right. So as we take a look at how the lanes are shaping up, the Lily are quite low on mana, so it might be difficult for her to stay in that lane for too much longer. And we, we have Sedge coming down here, getting the Scuttle Crab too, um, and we are pretty pushed in on Cybercast. They might be going for a gank now. Sedge coming on in, nice route there, but. The uh, Pike is pretty mobile, but double root coming from the Senna. We got Splash out, and oh, it looks like Actual Bird might be going down here. That was a nice, nice gank from the Sedge, and it looks like Phoenix may be trapped. He's trying to get his damage off to get something back in return. Can he get it? No, not before dying. Cho was coming down to see if he could help his friends, but his friends were gone. Oh, man, and that is just an early example of how important Vision is. Not vision. necessarily around objectives, but around that river for that gank, because mm -hmm. they went in, and in the two two they probably had the edge but in that 2v3 it's going to be very hard for them to make that play so great gank from the sedjuani being aware of her window of opportunity and do you want to text caleb to see if I did it. you did okay i'm just trying to figure out sorry guys this this first game of the season we're figuring out some technical issues um, let's see, now we have an actual bird coming on down, placing some vision, being like, I'm not gonna have that happen again, puts the pink into the drag pit. First drag is a fire drag. Yep, that infernal drag is so AD and AP for whatever team claims it. Also means it will not be an infernal soul, and we do have to command again in that top lane, the way that this Fiora is dominating, because we had another kill happen up there. Oh, nice, yes. Yep, um, so... As the bottom lane comes back here, we'll see if they are able to push that advantage on the other side of the map. So as of the double and buy it, it hasn't. Okay, so again, we might have the commentary for the recording, but not for the stream itself. So uh, we will work out the kinks as... The oh, and as we work out the kinks, Bubble Puppy is working out the kinks and Darius there by killing him. Again. Um, and pushing him in there, that is My brutal. Goodness, this is going to be a very difficult cure to deal with. Yeah, we have Sedge cleaning out the uh, pink, accidentally hitting the dragon there. I don't think she's trying to go by herself, but we have bot lane collapsing. Now careful guys, that you don't then get collapsed on. We have Lilia in, and we bot lane coming up. Um, but they're backing off, maybe going in. No, Nautilus lands the hook. Senna is coming on around, but... Um, we had Asknu got caught out trying to help and goes down to Lilia. Exhaust coming out on the red side to the blue. We have Senna landing another route, and it looks like it's all for actual bird. He is actually dead. Phoenix running away, trying to get away for his life, but he might be sleeping. It might be sleeping long time into death in the death timers spawning. Okay, guys, so oh, Cybercats, we can still get this because, especially because we have a really fed Fiora, but we gotta be playing around vision and be coordinated. This is exactly what we had said, Peter. Exactly. About committing and communication. Committing, communication, and 
knowing who is coming from the enemy team, because even though it looked like you can collapse on that Sejuani who's in the dragon pit, the mid lane had priority, mm -hmm. she could roam first, you have Nautilus that can trap you in there mm -hmm. with the CC, so if you don't respect that CC and the way they can pincer you in that little uh, river section between the dragon pit you and the won't. bottom lane there... You won't see some Oh, and we have the C champions and the C jokes and more CC coming and through. And Balin says no, we're still going after this. And Nautilus oh. is going down really, really nicely. Done. He'd even did he all throw? I don't know, that, but that's okay, not let's an see. Ultimate. He going. doesn't have that oh, one yet. Just but kidding. We, it was the oh the okay. What you know what? That shows you guys how well I played Nautilus back when I tried him for like four games. Um, take it away, Pete. Yeah. So we we did have that. The demonstration of the shock room damage from the Aphelios, though, the way that he can just bounce those back on himself and do so much damage, and oh my goodness, the solo kill in the mid lane while Very, we very up. nicely done. Um, getting back some of that mid lane then priority against the Lilia, which is really good after those team scuffles. And you know, we, we have to commend the Red Side for playing around the vision. We all also have to commend the Cybercats for coming back with those plays right there, because that Ooh. is a big deal in the goal. Ooh, and this looks bad! for the sedge you got that fed fiora coming up and she's like oh well i'll take this red buff too thanks for the leash man for a beautiful flash w from the fiora to secure that kill and the red and oh my goodness this is what you can do when you have that much top priority that jungle is his yeah meanwhile bot lane's still level five so obviously no ultimates coming up that's okay here we got uh you know we got a low Senna. Hey, maybe that'll be their next champion, you know, just level 5 <laughs> ultimate coming. You know what? Karma! I've played too much Karma, guys. All right, <laughs> and Nautilus getting poked in there and some damage down. He's getting to be a little hey, tankier, he, though. He's got a big shield. He's a big boy. And his he shield is his E, right? All right? That is his W. W! <laughs> you know what? I'm just, it's been a while since I played League, and I'm gonna just stop talking about Nautilus. Meanwhile, we'll look mid. Um, and Ask Noob laying down the poke, landing the stun. Landing the damage and saying, this is my lane. Hey, you know, he had already used the ultimate on that last kill. If he still had it up, it might have been another. He has his ultimate, because he's level 8. He he does have it. It is on cooldown, but he, mm -hmm. he yep, he will. Yep, he has it, as in, it, he's it leveled is, it, it up. Part of Meanwhile, bot lane, um, AD, okay, we have the set showing. Okay, nice, Pike landing that, just being like, hey, yeah, now. Just, just showing <laughs> that even if it's a 2v3, we're not scared. It might need to be a little bit scared. Mm -hmm. The failure's a, a little bit behind it. Oh! Oh, Lilia answering back wow. with a kill. What an impressive oh. solo trade back. <laughs> While oh, the are no. in the beating. <laughs> oh, oh, tagging each other. There's a lot going on. Okay, we finally have choke them in the bot lane for it, gang. Nice, um, silenced and knocked up. This was like a, a solid kill, at least on this sedge. She's gone with the pike ultimate. No? Uh, the Wait, pike ultimate yes. comes in after the kill. It still gives you the reset and the gold if it's okay. right after. Okay, okay, so. gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Um, and so that gives some nice pressure now onto that bot lane turret. Meanwhile, Fiora still at the base. Lilia going along with the Senna to try to answer this girl. And uh, Nautilus just getting poked out under a turret. Cho coming around the mountain. Um, well, not really the mountain, but you, you got the reference, guys. And Nautilus is looking a little bit tight there. Nice, nice landed from the pike. And Cho going after, but not wanting to quite do this dive. Now going in for it. Let's see if they can do turret aggro properly. That is the kill, and that is Cho making it out just barely, but that just going around. Nice flash. Makes it through. Actual bird maybe going down to the turret. Yes. Okay. So again, just turret aggro, but otherwise still overall a worth trade. Yep, a worth trade. You know, a little bit of... Uh... Missed execution on the dive, it's something where if the Cho'Gath had gotten his feast off for the execute, it would have been a lot easier. He didn't miss that, so he didn't get the stack, and he did tank a couple extra shots there. And then the aggro, like you said, going back onto an actual bird. We do have to, again, commend Bubble Puppy, though. He is laying down the law in this top lane, and it's going to be so hard for me to deal with. Something tells me next game, Fiora is going to be banned. I, I, I have would, a feeling. You know, I, I would not doubt blank. that. He has been practicing this champion a lot, and he is showing it. Yeah, and that's a good one to have in games like this, because if you can make it and you can get ahead, you really deal with so much pressure, and it's really hard to fight against um, for a lot of teams. Can't handle that split push. Exactly, and that's a way of working around that vision. Obviously, you want to lay it down around the objectives, get the control around all the CC that the enemy team has, but if you have such a massive pressure point like this Fiora has been, they can't even walk up to those objectives if they're on the side of the map where Fiora is. So. And you see 
said, even with all this this vision and the dance around vision, well, not as much vision right now, but yeah, um, said showing in her laners' lanes because just to help alleviate pressure from these Help times. alleviate the pressure, and we did get a nice vision toggle from Megatoast to show that it's completely dark for the red team, but let's see what happens here. Ooh, ooh, and what happens here is death. That's just what happens. Um, this, this bubble puppy is, is, a, is a fed, fed puppy. He's had lots of puppy treats. Uh, maybe bubble puppy treats. Oh All man, right. pure mm, with a tummy ache after this game. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> let's see, a nice dodge there out of Ask New Groovy and Groovy and coming to help getting them in the cage. Death is all the road said, where you should want to leave this. You do not want any of this. Uh, and running away, running away. Too late. Death. Three members coming up here <laughs> to try and answer this Fiora. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a sight. And she just see. like, alright. I'll just dance with you. She's oh, you want it? About it? Yeah, she is. Um, <laughs> Bubble puppy toying with their emotions. Meanwhile, Drake in the in the blue side. It's a five Drake, level lead up in that top lane. Oh, yeah. like, they're attacking, and she's defeating, and now they have the dragon. Four level lead on the bot lane. There's a five level lead on the top lane of this Fiora. All massive. right, yeah, this Fiora. I, you know, she is out of mana though, so she yeah, needs to be a little bit careful. Not Malia might have the sleep up yeah she does have the cooldown but she's scared <laughs> you know Fiora, Fiora, if if they had gone in on that i think they were scared of the repose there to to stop the sleep she actually didn't have mana for it so that's one of those little things that as the yeah you team, have you to have keep to an eye on the trade it's not just about health it's about mana it's about cooldown exactly and and you know that's in a thousand gold shutdown it gives you the comeback experience as well so that's the type of thing that you really need to be willing to pull the trigger on Whew. Meanwhile, bot lane turret down. The mid lane turret is just like two feathers tickles away. Um, and Fiora's back top lane. Now with the big fancy minion friend. You know, there he is, don't! Even, there is! You know! She, she's even been holding on to that rift, Harold. She wants to make the Harold dance. I can't watch double kill. She's just in the base dancing. Oh, let's see. They might be able to get something back here on Phoenix. Phoenix, good flash out. Good. Nautilus really wants it. That was nice, Nautilus. I'm proud of you for that one. Getting the shutdown for Sedge with the flash hook. Um, oh, Actual Bird trying to go and help in his now. Harold. Okay. Oh, they got the shutdown. Wait, they did. Thousand gold shutdown. A red turret was destroyed, but they got the thousand gold shutdown. Got the thousand gold shutdown. They denied the herald. You know, it's it's the type of thing where you don't think that you can come back from this kind of deficit, but if that kind of play happens enough times, then maybe you can. And Fiora, with how ahead she is, she still has another thousand gold don't shutdown. Don't tell me that. Are you kidding? So you know, twelve one it, zero. It, it looks absolutely terrifying. That but at the same time, if he makes another play like that again, if Lilia he has a little bit. Good CS too. So Lilia good has good CS. I believe she is the one that got that shutdown. So Lilia can be quite scary when she gets that. Vagar still with the most CS in the game. Um, and and just pushing and pushing these things too now. Um, let's see. No, no, and tell him he he's fine. Just make sure he puts out a good luck, have fun. But you can tell him I said that. All right, and the players checking in too, and always making sure that they're being sports mini and you know making good games. We appreciate that, but you know we gotta hone the skills here. So nice done there, and set goes down. All right, okay. This just see Fiora running away, getting out of that turret aggro. Mid lane turret second tier goes down. Whew. All right, Lilia is back and out there. Does not want to cut, be cut in that. Um, we don't have a minion wave yet. It's coming. There we go. This will probably be a final push soon. I mean, the, the base is hemorrhaging. Yep, this turret is now going down. And like meaning, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Um. Yep, they're going. They're looking at the at the. In him now. Okay, Groove and Peruvian caught out with the root. Nice. Ooh, missed the one little Lilia thing. That's okay. And death. Yes, yeah, that's good. That's a nice shutdown. Of course, the Nautilus, but that's okay. But this is the type of thing where when you have that split push, or what else is happening on the map? Exactly. And so on the map, that bottom in hip goes. And I mean, Bubble Puppy is like, she, it's like she's eating her Wheaties, killing these minions. Her health is suddenly back to full. She's killing them. If she's got that ravenous hydra. She can just life seal up to full like nothing, yep. and she's gonna run over this game right here. Yeah, and, and but again, it's because of early game things. So if you get to this and you're like, man, what's going on? 
it's because of these little things adding up. It's not necessarily like impossible from the start. Exactly. And it could, you know, uh, a different kill here or there, and it can be different. Now, ask me to come in with a triple at the end, acing them, and getting this next. And that piece. is going to be the game. So. Um, and don't be fooled though. It's twenty-six to fourteen. The red 20, team got some good kills. They got some good kills. Um, you know, we did see some good plays from both mm -hmm, sides mm -hmm. and we will see what happens in game two of this best of two yeah and hopefully you'll be able to hear us in twitch live then but if not uh we'll hear some recording good job guys we'll see you for game two